O'Shea Jackson Jr. here, man. Let's go. Real oh, 92. Sam three. Jackson. Yeah. Godzilla. 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 He walked in with Godzilla. You Yo, know yeah, that? dog. <laughs> Godzilla made me feel skinny for one. Godzilla, king of monsters. Oh, my God. That's right. Stand next to Godzilla. Yo, I look skinny, dog. <laughs> Godzilla, king of monsters, out May 31st. It's O'Shea, man. Let's get it. Let's Ooh. get it. Let's get it. Yeah. My guy, how we feel, man. Congratulations on the movie, uh, upcoming projects. Mm. Your daughter, yeah, amazing man. A little Let's baby. Go. You're a daughter now. I mean, <laughs> you're, yeah. a daughter now. you're a daughter now. Wait, you're not switching up on us, are you? You're a father now. Yeah, man. Uh, when you have a girl, I have a boy. Yeah, and we're yeah. shooting for. Uh, I'm shooting for a girl. You feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, when you have a girl, how does that affect you? Does that change you immediately? You're immediately mush. You know, right. you're just right. like. You know, I've been eating half-eaten cookies. You know, she uh -huh. shared with me. Yeah. It's aggressive. But, yeah. like, right, you know, right, it's right. just, it's, it's cool because she's my, you know, that's my little buddy. She a Leo. I don't know if y'all know, but female lions are go-getters. Yeah. They got to go, you know. So that's she's, it. She be acting super independent. She's not even two yet. And uh, <laughs> she, you know, we, we watch our shows. We got our shows we like to watch. Shout out to Paw Patrol. That's right. Uh, that's right. Uh, Peppa Pig. And uh -huh. she, watch, uh, <laughs> she watch wrestling with me. So I'm into yeah, that. That's, 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 that's right. She watched, yeah, her first match her she had, her first match she ever saw was uh uh <laughs> Macho Man versus Crush. <laughs> so like she you Yo, know she okay. she going back. You're not worried of her but jumping Peppa off Pig's the couch. You're not worried. Of, ah, oh, you know what no, I mean? you gotta, that's why you gotta have arm. you gotta have the padding ready. Yeah. Man, yeah. My baby girl gonna know how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Jeff Garcia, the sports dude. What's good? These dudes get on me all the time because I watch WWE. Yeah. And they say grown ass men shouldn't watch Come WWE. On, so please. Tell him about it. First that. of all, it's the most aggressive soap opera we got. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's right. out here. Right. And at okay. the same time, you have to appreciate them sacrificing the bodies that the way that they that do. I appreciate. And when you when Respect. when when a wrestler can can sell what's going on and it can look genuine, yeah. that's what makes them a top performer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But yeah, here do comes you that. own belts and, and, and do I you have own, their posters on your on your I wall? Got, not posters, but I got Five belts. Okay. Yeah. How Who's official your... are these belts, bro? Are oh, they the they, plastic? I mean, no, they're they're no, 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 they have, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have you. <laughs> they uh, you know, they cost me about about four, four yeah. hundred. And, and you're then, okay uh, with owning that, even though you've never wrestled yourself? Oh yeah, my I'm man. a champion of all. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my argument is this: I, I told Jeff the sports dude, bro. If you still watch wrestling at your age, you are not allowed to tell your kids Santa Claus is not real. You let them fucking believe. First of all, <laughs> Santa Claus' name is Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know me that's all I'm saying. You know, like, yeah. I'm having that conversation with my wife. I'm like, I don't know if I, if uh, you know, if I want our son believing in Santa. I think he should know where things come from. Yeah, like and how I, hard we work to give him that. When I realized, I said, hmm. The presents are in the house by Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. but in the story, they're not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> you figured it out. Yeah, I was like, yeah. mm, something's up. And, you know, like, Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus, you're just telling your kids that these creatures breaking and entering in the house. <laughs> we sleep. It's just not really good. Like, that, why are we going to the cops? Yeah, what's happening? They broke into our house. And he's wearing red. He's obviously active. He's affiliated. Wait, so back to wrestling. Take Who's your favorite wrestler? My, of all time, is The Rock. Nobody. He's the come on, man. untouchable yeah, come on. as far as that, on the mic yeah. uh, and his his performances. And also, The Rock has always been a motivation for me because right? his yeah. father wrestled, his grandfather wrestled. So I know he had to hear the same things that I hear, like, sure. oh, you're stepping in your father's footsteps oh, and all that. Right, right, and so right. he took the family name to new heights. And so The Rock has always been motivation for me. That's why I, me and him have the same agent. That's right. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met The Rock? Have you guys cool. spoken? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I met, I met The Rock hands? for the first time when I was in sixth grade. My dad, like, surprised me and Damn, took me. And, God. like, I didn't know. You know, when you're a kid, you have to kind of be mentally prepared your to see a hero. Your dad had The Rock under the Christmas tree for uh -huh. you, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, hey, come with me. And dad never picks me up. This is grandma's job, you know? <laughs> right. And so dad picks me up in the nice car because we had the nice car. That's right. And uh, he drove all the way to Venice. And we were at some restaurant. And The Rock walks in. And I froze up. Mm -hmm. I froze up like I couldn't muster any words to Did tell him. Did you smell what, what they were cooking? Or yeah, not? He had, I remember he had a burger. We both had a burger, and I was like, he's a good person. That's right. That's right. <laughs> was it emotional? Did you cry? Did you say thank you? Did uh, you just freeze? Uh, when he paid for his food and the lady came back with his change, I took his change. You did. <laughs> yeah, I took the coins. That's I, uh, right. And I, yeah, I, I saved them with the picture of him. And uh, when, I like, Jack, at when I saw him again at WrestleMania, 
Uh, I gave him a quarterback because. <laughs> you know <laughs> that. Did you tell him? Sorry, bro. I don't want to I stole your money, dog, when I met you, bro. Like, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry, man. Real story. Hey, but listen, he got it. Okay? <laughs> he got it. He's fine. He got it, man. Yeah. It's crazy how he went from wrestling, right? And you're right. It's it's a it's a soap opera and it's it's aggressive. It's fun. Mm. Uh, but then he just just took it somewhere mm-hmm. else. Yeah, take it somewhere it. else. Oh, yeah. Action hero. Biggest action hero we got. Godzilla. Yeah. King of Monsters. Oh, Shay, talk to me about Barnes, your character, right? Chief Warrant Officer Barnes. He yep. is he's the senior officer of G Team, which is a military branch of Monarch. Yes. And Monarch is the organization that has been keeping these Titans under wraps. Sure. So the rest of the general public doesn't freak out. And at the same time, the government is trying to convince Monarch that these Titans need to be destroyed. Yep. And we like, nah. You know, they part of the ecosystem just like anything else. And if you if you were to take out a species of from anywhere, it would be, you know, destructive towards the planet. So we uh you know, we we fight hard to let people know that giants are nice and sometimes they're not. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Was there training for it? Did you have to train? Did you have to go like military training or yeah, anything? There like was that? um you know, we had Colonel Hans Bush, you know, Green Beret. He uh he no you joke. know taught us formations. He he taught us how to speak to one another, you know, how to handle your weapon and, and you know it just, has to be authentic. It has to come yeah, off it has, authentic. It has sure. to come from a real place. And you know, my my G team, my soldiers, you know, Elizabeth Ludlow, Anthony Ramos, uh, uh Aisha Hines, you know, we we got a bond forever now because of G team. Very dope. Yeah, you made lifelong connections and friends, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing, man. Look at you, man. O'Shea Jackson Jr., my guy. I'm, I'm out Godzilla here. Godzilla out here. <laughs> Bro, King of Monsters, show him the chain, bro. You gotta yeah. let the people Whoa. see what what success looks like. Yeah, man, chain. this is from Johnny Dang. You know, I might steal Ooh, it. Johnny, shout out Johnny. <laughs> yeah, 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 Wait, yeah, yeah. seriously? That's yeah, that's, that's, that's Johnny. Yeah, it's from Johnny. I he was, we was at the red carpet for the premiere, and I was like, "What is Johnny Dang doing here?" And he was like, "Yo, I got something I want you to wear." And I was like, "That sounds." That's some great yeah. news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny <laughs> makes yeah. some good pieces. Yeah, right. right. And so he, he pulled this Legendary. out. Legendary. You know, they're not going to let none of the other actors wear this. <laughs> Straight it's up. Be no, me. for it's got to be you, right? Yeah. Uh, does Godzilla have like uh, gold teeth in the movie? Uh, <laughs> yeah. what does he got a grill? Does he uh, have a grill? Man, he's uh, he's pretty aggressive in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Man, O'Shea Jackson Jr. Godzilla, uh, King of Monsters, May thirty first, everywhere, e- everywhere, everywhere. Are you watching it as, uh, that weekend? Yeah, I. Uh, you know, you, you definitely got to go. You got to sneak into a theater. You know, to get the real fans' perspective because sure, yeah. a lot That's of times premieres are filled with. Suits, you know, they're right. just gonna clap as soon as they see a name that they know, you know. Well, so, yeah, so it's like you gotta see it with the people and mm-hmm. get the feel. And I'm a Godzilla fan, I've been a Godzilla fan since I was five, six years I old. Mean, come on, watching right, it bro. on the sci fi channel Saturdays, yeah, yeah. So, Godzilla. like, I know what what's been missing from these American Godzilla fans, and That's I right. promise you, like, this is what we've been dying for. And if you don't like it, at me, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. Yeah. No, no I love how you're bringing your childhood into this experience, man. That yeah. that makes it more authentic. Oh, shit. Yeah, when you when you, when you do a, a passion project, something that you genuinely care about, sure, those hard sure. days at work, they a little bit easier. You uh-huh. know, you you know a little bit. You know that it's for a reason. And my father always says, "Straight out of Compton, I was born to play." But Godzilla: King of the Monsters was the yeah. second movie I was born to play. So much so that they finally had a practical effect on set. It was like an actual piece of Godzilla skin, and for for anybody who's been a fan, you never think you'll be able to touch Godzilla. So Come this on. was about to be like Legendary. my first opportunity. Legendary. And so the day that I touched the Godzilla skin was the day my daughter was born. So if that's not full circle, yeah. I don't know what it is. That's crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm out here. Out yeah. here. Yeah. That's how it was supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. That's how it was supposed to roll out, O'Shea. Wow, yeah. that's crazy, man. So you had to leave the set, obviously, to go. No, they didn't let me leave the set, bro. No. Yeah, man. I had to get pictures and vidges. <laughs> you couldn't leave the set to go. Go to your I was in Georgia, man. Oh no! Yeah, does, once, that, does that give you a little resentment towards? I mean, <laughs> a, a, definitely a little bit, but she know she know her dad is working hard. You yeah, from... it's just you know I'm I'm gonna miss birthdays. I don't know, I miss the birthday, but like <laughs> yeah. you're gonna, you're gonna miss birthdays and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And it's Parents just up to me. And... It's up to me to to be the cool dad, mm-hmm. you know. And she yeah. she sees me on TV now. Yeah. And I know that's new. You <laughs> yeah. know, that's I, she saw long, the preview for Long Shot, the preview for Godzilla, and you know, dad, dad. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah, that's dad, dad, right there. Isn't that great, man. <laughs> what kind of advice does Cube give you as a father, from father to father now? Um. Well, first of all, Father's Day is dope now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's lit. Dog. Yeah, it's lit now. You know, I wished my dad a happy Father's Day once, and he was like, No, I said, Dad, it's Father's Day. 
and um, wished me father. He's like, I'm the father. I'm like, yeah, yes, but I'm a I'm father too. We supposed to like, <laughs> yeah, the samurai, yeah, yeah. you know? He's like, no, but I'm the dad. I'm like, yeah, I'm a dad too, though. Now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was hard for him to grasp. Yeah, it's, you know, he, uh, well, I know my dad is enjoying being a granddad. You know, Jordan is. he is, okay with being called granddad? Oh, he Grandpa, loved, Papa? He loves it. He loves it. He loves you it. know, he loves it. She yell at him when uh, when his phone rang because he's always on his phone. So, like, she hear it ring. She means, no, granddad. And, like, he just got, all right, whatever. And he pays attention, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know. Does he do stuff and you're just like, yo, where was that when I was little? No, nah, he always been like that. Really? You know, he's uh, he's been the coolest dad I could have. So, I know he's just going to be an even cooler oh, man, granddad. Amazing, and man. the only advice he's really been giving me is, you know, when it's time. When, when your child is talking to you and you and they want advice, give them the truth. You know, uh, you don't want them to find out the truth from the outside world because sure, sure. it'll make them look at you different. You heard the truth and, growing uh, up? Oh, yeah. You know, you, you got to know about the harsh realities that's Santa out there. Santa ain't real. <laughs> yeah, Santa ain't real. Yeah, Santa's name is Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Godzilla, King of Monsters, May 31st in theaters. Long Shot is on the way. No, Long Shot's out. Long Shot is out. Long, I'm so sorry. No. Yeah, Long, Long Shot is out. Yeah. Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen, Charlize right? Theron. Bro. Yeah, no, I'm out here. No, dude. I think that's what we're getting from this interview. Yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what we're yeah. calling yeah. it on YouTube. Out, out here yeah. with O'Shea Jackson. O'Shea is out here. That's amazing, yeah. the summer man. summer is mine. O'Shea yep. out here Jackson, you feel me? Yeah. What's good with the album, O'Shea? I have to bring it up. Let's go. Look, we right got music now, on the way? Right now, Shoot it to uh, me straight, bro. going into producing. My brother is getting Lynch Mob back up and running. So we got uh, we got some artists that's coming. We got I, I've made a couple of rap friends along this acting way, mm -hmm. and I expect features from all of them, you know, <laughs> Hint, hint. My and God. so, uh, yeah, and I expect an Ice Cube feature or I'm telling my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you don't have to do that, but you no, no, do no, it, no, dog. No. We oh. appreciate yeah. that, yeah. man. <laughs> Seriously, man. Uh, really quick, on the way out, um, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Godzilla, King of Monsters, uh, Long Shot is out, Nipsey Hussle in a few words. Yeah. It affected all of us, uh -huh. especially if you're from Los Angeles. It's, right. it's, the, the cut is a little deeper, am I right? For sure, you know, definitely so. Uh, a recipe to to Nipsey Hussle. It, it it sucks when somebody turns your life story into a what if, but it is uh, it's important that we realize what he was doing. You know, selflessly, you know, giving opportunities to those who don't have them. There's so many people out there with talent in the world who don't know that they even have a talent. That's you know, so. it comes so easy to you that you might not even trip that I can make money off yep. this. Yep. And he was providing opportunities for people and those who care about Nipsey and respect. What Nipsey was doing, got to make sure that the marathon continues and, oh and do your part. So I want to have a rest in peace to L.A. legend and Nipsey Hussle and a rest in peace to another L.A. legend and John Singleton. Yes. Rest in peace, John. John Singleton Day was yeah. declared. Yo, John yep. Singleton, that he wrote my letter of recommendation to go to USC. So, like, John has always been an extension of my family. Yes, he He's, you know, always speak on what it takes to be a filmmaker yeah. and what the extra it takes to be a black filmmaker, and I hope I'm making him proud. The history that he made with your father. Yeah. I mean, you can't. You, no one can take that away. We wouldn't be here without without John Singleton yeah. showing my dad the things that he showed him, how to write a script. You know, like how to. It's just so much game he gave, and so he'll forever be a part of the Jackson. And that goes family. back to what you were saying, like you know, people showing people like they got talents that they didn't know they had. Yeah, you don't even know that you yep. got. You know, like, you know, your you pops was. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure, pretty sure you didn't think he was an actor. Or yeah, but he had, you know, you yeah. have the storytelling ability yeah. in your rhymes, right. you know, yeah. expand on yeah. it. And, you know, he did. Yeah. Straight up. O'Shea, my guy, we salute you. Thank we you, man. fuck with you go all Lakers. the way. Yes. Let's go, Lakers. Let's get it. Garcia, yeah. what's up? Man, what the fuck are we going to do with our team, man? It's, it hurts my heart, bro. Let me tell you. It hurts you. my heart. Bro. Everybody has this idea that we are burning down. When we have the number four pick, four young horses and LeBron James. Like, we're not in a bad situation. We're not? I get it, the front office and all of that, but what people need to remember, we the Lakers. All of these single digit championship teams, let them get they shine. Yeah. Oakland, go ahead, get your what's your seventh ring? You know when my seventh ring was? The sixties. You know, we've been here, done that. Sixteen of them things. The Golden Army will be back in the promised land, I promise. Garcia. Right, call the play. One free agent we're gonna get. Oh, he, his name will uh, start with a K. Okay. Yeah. It's either Kyrie, Kevin, Clay, <laughs> <laughs> Kawhi. Yeah. <laughs> That's Godzilla, a good one. King of Monsters, May 31st, in theaters everywhere. Salute, bro. How about you, man? Hey, I'm out here. 92.3 Crew Show. He is out here. Yeah, I'm Jackson. Thank you.